Hey everyone, in this video I will show you some of the best FL Studio tips and tricks. So let's get started. Okay, the first of all, master picture. So if you want to change the pitch of an entire track, you just go ahead and go to this master picture knob and then uh, play around with your mouse. It's uh, quite nice actually if you do some automation clips on it and it would make some sixth transaction in your track. The next tip is that if when you're using a when you're using parametric EQ sometimes you won't see this reddish holographic effect so to enable that like this to enable it just go to this little arrow icon and go to heat map and click enable and it will enable the holographic visualizer okay. Now sometimes when you have a lot of uh, this uh, windows open and when you click on another one it just move in the background okay so if you don't want to if you don't want that to happen just click on this little drop down icon go to detach now if even if you click anything this main the window that you have the plugin that you have detached uh, it won't go in the background okay I think that's really helpful when you are working with uh, two parametric EQ to you know if you detach both of them like this then you can compare the EQs in both of them at the same time or you can bring this that is really helpful in mixing your track now one more thing is at the top there is a little hint panel okay this is one of the most underrated tool in Apple Studio I guess because uh, this gives you a lot of important crucial uh, information for example if you go on here at the top it gives you every details about the gives you every the hertz and the db and everything if you go on here or any plugin any knob it gives you every information about the every tool okay just every tool and everything whenever you hover your mouse in the window of FL Studio okay it gives you really important information that you can use in mixing or making your tracks arrangement and everything okay so make sure to use that okay and yeah one more thing is that stereo effect quick stereo effect that uh, without uh, without any plugin okay that comes within the channel itself okay so if you uh, go to this this little uh, any of this sound if you go in here this little pre computed effects if you click in here and now this is the sound okay without the stereo effect and if you click little bit here you can see it's actually doing something in here and if you play now gets the stereo effect I think that's really helpful and really important while mixing your track to widen your track without using any external plugin that comes within the FL Studio pretty sick okay another tip is that whenever you are working with lot of these plugins like this and it actually it's away your you know CPU when you have slow computer like mine what you can do is go to click on this drop down menu on any of this plugin okay and click on smart disable and what it will do is that if you're not using the plugin or that plugin is not in the use currently it will it will just disable the plugin okay and yep one more thing is that whenever you are using FO Studio the tools that comes with FO Studio you can basically use automation clips on any of them okay any plugin that comes with any knobs and everything you can create automation clips but what about third-party programs for example let me open something in here uh, unison Zen master by the way this is a sick free VST plugin that provided by unison I have already made actually made a video on it so if you want it you can watch this video it should pop up right now and you can go get it it's absolutely free it's amazing free law 5 VST plugin that you should check it out so yeah uh, so this is like this uh, I'm playing around with this knob right here here okay this knob now if you right click it nothing happens no automation clips options okay now how could you make that happen there's a way actually okay let's see all these windows let me actually there's one more trick that I would put like to put it uh, it's that uh, when there's all of these windows open in FL Studio you can actually close all of them just by pressing alt and FTL okay and it will uh, release all the windows I mean close all the windows 
anyway coming to the point of our unison uh, automation clip when you have this uh, knob in here no thanks when you have this knob in here like this you don't have any uh, automation clips uh, options so you can uh, do that by going to tools okay last tweak and you can uh, select here create automation clips by the way let me just unselect this because it will create automation clips only in the, the selected area so I don't want that I want the automation clip to be in the entire track and we will be gonna automate that okay so go here and then uh, options tools uh, last week and create automation clips and this is gonna create an automation clips okay uh, let's let's see okay let's if you see here I know it sound weird this is just to show you uh, this is just to show you the example okay if we uh, go here okay and we play you can see this is actually moving the automation automation clips is actually working okay this is actually moving and the automation clips is, is actually working another tip is that uh, layering stuff okay now sorted uh, open a new channel open a new channel just randomly I'm just doing this for the sake of tutorial okay okay so we have uh, three stuff okay we can uh, insert here this plugin layer okay and it will open up now select all of them three of them okay and then right here we can uh, set children okay now you can go to piano roll now all three of the notes all of them they are playing at the once okay and yeah guys that's pretty much it I know these are just random tips and tricks but this could be really helpful for, for the people who are getting started if this video goes well I'll make part two of it and yeah guys that's pretty much it I will see in the next video please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button it means a lot and peace I'm out